Hey everyone, today we're going to look at Pi-hole and what the benefits are of having two Pi-hole servers set up as opposed to only one. So the absolute biggest benefit is going to be redundancy. So what that means is that if you were to take one Pi-hole server down, meaning that your Raspberry Pi or your Docker container, whatever is hosting your, your Pi-hole setup, if that goes down, you technically lose your internet access. And you're not actually losing your internet access, but you're losing your ability to resolve domain names. So to most people, it would appear as if your internet is down. So with two Pi-hole servers, if one goes down, you'll still have the other one and be able to resolve domain names. So while that's the most known benefit to having two Pi-hole servers, I wanna talk about something that I experienced and something that I was able to resolve by adding a second Raspberry Pi. So periodically, I would receive DNS errors and my clients weren't able to resolve DNS host names. So since I was using my Pi-hole as my primary DNS server, I knew that the issue either existed with Pi-hole or the device that was hosting Pi-hole, but I knew it revolved around something with Pi-hole itself. So since I was receiving these errors, my assumption was that my DNS server wasn't able to actually keep up with all of these DNS requests. So I researched online to see if adding a second Pi-hole would help at all, and the information that I found had very little to do with what I was actually looking for. It didn't appear as if there was any benefit for performance of actually adding a second Pi hole. So I took a shot in the dark, ordered a new Raspberry Pi, configured it, and figured I'd run it for a few weeks to see if it had any benefits. And to say that it increased performance would be a major understatement. I always noticed that my internet seemed a little slower after implementing Pi hole, and I could never figure out what it was. So what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you both of my Pi hole instances next to each other, and you're gonna see some of the stats that are attributed to them after running this for a few days. I flushed both logs at the same time so I'd be able to get as accurate of information having the same uptime as I possibly could. So what you'll see from the results is that both Pi holes actually have very similar total queries, which signals to me that not only is it increasing performance, but it's actually load balancing both Pi hole servers and sending similar query totals to both of them. So if you think this through, if you're balancing both DNS servers, you're actually increasing performance because you know at that time that both of your DNS servers are managing the proper load. Having only one of them would cause performance degradation, but having both of them ensures that neither is overloaded. So to sum it up, not only does adding a second Pi hole server add redundancy, but you might see tangible speed and performance benefits from the Pi hole servers acting as load balancers. This is attributed to now having a primary and a secondary DNS server. If you're currently using only one Pi-hole DNS server, I suggest looking into adding a second one because you might see some of these lesser known benefits as well. But that wraps up the video for today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe. Thank you.